Goshen 2022, one allegation raised as Adeleke promised to buy a private jet for Oni of Ife. Hello, my wonderful people. We all know the dancing governor. He dances very well, a very good dancer, uh, ex-governor rather. And um, he didn't win his second turn off. And you it's also interesting to know that um, his, him and Davido are related, okay? And um, he's campaigning so that he can have his other, um, his second tenor in Oshun State. Currently in Oshun State, we have um, Tinubu's uh, brother, so to say, because they are blood related. Yes, that's the governor of the state, um, Uyetola. And um, Adeleke wants to come back and regain his dynasty or his throne, if you want to call it. Because in Nigeria today, you must complete your two tenor. And outside that, you must become a senator or one of those things you see. This is what they keep doing. It's for themselves, really, not because um, they are coming to make life and things better for the people. Anyway, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, uh, like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Let's get all the details. Oshun 2022. One allegation raised as Adeleke promised to buy a private jet for Oni of Ife. The People Democratic Party candidate in the 2018 governorship election, Senator Adeleke, had made a strong allegations against the state government while promising Oni of Ife, Adeyeye, a private jet for his local and international engagement. This is contained in a report published by the vanguard i just want to ask a question there before we continue will he buy the private jet with his money or with the money meant for shun state just a question that's just a question okay he promised while paying a visit to the monarch at his palace in ilefe on wednesday this is the first time royal visit he would make ever since he returned to the country from his governorship ambition ademola came into the political limelight after his elder brother and a renowned politician, Lesia Kadeleke, died while serving in the National Assembly. The People Democratic Party or Shun State Chapter has unanimously endorsed him to succeed his brother as a consolation. After, the, after completing his brother's tenure, he declared interest to run for the governorship election in 2018. Adeleke, who narrowly won the party's ticket in a new contest primary election, was, however, faced a series of lawsuits over forged YX certificates. He eventually contested the election and came out second in one of the most controversial polls in the country. Afterwards, he took off politics to pursue a degree in the United States of America. Recently, he was spotted in a viral video with his cousin, David O., celebrating his graduation ademola is here again in the race possibly against the incumbent governor Oyetola. below is the allegation raised while promising a private jet he accused the state governor of destroying the local government system and said the state governor has not done well for the people or build and enhance the local government system Ademola, who made the allegation, said the closest tie of government to the people in local government is being destroyed. Boito Yetola has killed it all. He further maintained that eroding the Oshun airport will make a new movement. Erecting the Oshun airport will make a new movement so much easier with a private jet he will buy for him if elected. Ademola, who expressed worries over the poor state of the roads in the state, said he will fix everything. However, he questioned, the questions are, can Oshun State afford a private jet and its maintenance? Can this have a positive impact on poor masses? What is the private jet really for? So that's the question. Okay, it's okay to buy private jets. Nobody's against it. It's a good gesture. If you want to buy it, why not if, if you have the money? That's fine. But how does this better the common man and woman on the street? How does this solve the problems, some of the problems we are having in Oshun State? 
For instance, Osho State is one of those states that have the poorest road system ever. The poorest road system. I mean, it's not just Osho State, but one of, okay? I mean, yes, it's all around the country. Yeah, okay? So there are so many bad roads in the country. There are so many things that are not working. There are so many things. So saying you want to, um, you want to, you know, get a private jet, you know, is very enticing, okay? And I believe that even the monarch will be looking forward to it, okay? Because that's the new, that's the new, uh, that's the new pet, or that's the new plate thing in the country. That's the new toy. That's the new toy in the country. That's the new play thing. They want, everybody wants to have a private jet. Almost all the governors have private jets. They all have this and that. And how does that really help the people? How does this sort out the problem that the people are facing? Because we must be very honest with ourselves. Is this bringing growth and development? Is it helping the state to move forward? Or is he another feather on our heart? This is what we must ask ourselves. Is he another feather on our heart? Or is he a sincere, you know, thing? Then, I mean, they're talking about um, an airport, you know, maintaining a private jet. You need a hangar. Those, it's not easy to maintain it. You're talking about millions. It's not a car that you can spend hundreds of thousands to fix back. We're talking about a plane. So these are some of the things ongoing, you see. Pe do people get there and the thing that they are looking forward or they are looking at is what, what else, what do I need? If you are buying a private jet for Oni of Ife, what about, that means you have one yourself. You can't give what you don't have. That means you have one yourself. You guys see where we are coming, you see where we are coming from. You see where we are getting at. So what's the priority of those who call themselves leaders? What's the priority? What are the things they hold dear that they think the masses need that must be put in place so that things can get better? Is it a private jet or is it the roads, the school system, at least the structures being put in place? These are questions we must really think about before we go ahead electing people as governor senators. The one that is there, what has he done? Where are the roads? These are questions we must ask ourselves. Leave us a question, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.